Hello friends, how are you doing? I thought I would do a really quick tutorial and show my newbies, my newcomers to the group, how to apply my hair growth oil, my Ayurvedic recipe. Okay, there is so much to cover, but I'm gonna try and do it real short and a nice little video, okay? First of all, when you order from Organic Crime, my business, um, when you order my hair growth oil, it comes in two different sizes, okay? You're, this is four ounces and it comes in two ounces, which is this size, two ounces, this is mine. And uh, you're either gonna get it in a container like this, or you're gonna get it in a container like this. I have two different types of containers. Both are great. Okay, so what you wanna do first of all, is as you can see, I just did a treatment yesterday. So that's why you're seeing a lot of sheen and a lot of oil. I just did a treatment yesterday. I went like a whole two weeks without doing a treatment just to give myself, my, my body a chance to miss it. Okay. So there's two ways you can put this um, hair growth oil on your hair. You can either put it straight like this. See, it comes in a bottle like this. Flip this little thing up. Expose an area nice and open and go like this. See it going in there? Go right on the scalp. Shut the container. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub those beautiful nutrients in. That's one way you can do it. A second way is if you want to make your oil last longer and get more bang for your buck, get a container like this and get some coconut oil and add the oil to coconut oil like this. Let me open it. Be right back. Okay, see, nice and open there. Um, this is added uh, coconut oil to the oil. This is a way to get more bang for your buck. And then what I do, see I'm sitting here on my couch in my living room with my wonderful light facing me. I figured this would be the best place to do a video because it's all about good lighting. And it looks like this. So you want to get a scoop out. Can you see what I'm doing here? Get a scoop out like this. See, yes, it looks messy and it's kind of messy, but this is something that you're going to have to learn how to do and you'll get good at it. Don't worry. Press it in. The heat from your head will melt the coconut oil. Don't worry. Don't melt it in your microwave. Don't do that because you're going to zap the uh, nutrients right out of it. You can always melt it in a double boiler, but you know, just let the heat of your head and your scalp melt it. Then find another spot, like move the hair over like this. Move the hair over. I have a really good comb that I use, by the way, but it's in my bathroom. I have a really good comb that helps part the hair, but you can use your fingers. So see, there's a nice area exposed. Grab a little more. See, coconut oil is a really good way to grow your hair, so I that's, that's why I do it. And you can even add more olive oil to it. And pretty soon you'll be making your own Ayurvedic hair growth oil. <laughs> really, it's how it starts. It starts by improvising and adding your own oils and your own little concoctions, doing research. And pretty soon you're so knowledgeable on it that you do your own mix. And you won't even have to order mine anymore, which is what I don't want. But hey, I'm just, I want you to have success. I want you to have success. And if that, you know, says sharing secrets and tips that'll help you not order for me, well, you know, so be it. I'd much rather you have, have you grow long hair. And don't worry, God blesses me. So see, rub it in, massage, 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 massage. Then get another area. And you can remember, you can do this on clean hair or dirty hair, but I prefer you do it on dirty hair because you're gonna get it dirty with all this oil. So expose another area. And keep in mind, you see all my grays popping out? I cannot keep up with my gray hairs, y'all. Mm -mm, I can't. I am big on coloring gray hair. And since I've been doing my hair growth regimen, Oh my word, the grays pop back out like the next day or the day after. It's because your hair is growing so fast. It's being stimulated. The follicle, the hair follicle is being stimulated with all these amazing oils and powders and herbs that I use that I cannot keep up with keeping my gray hair out of the way. So I cannot wait to get my hair where it needs to be and then I can stop doing my oil. And then my, you know, my when I do color my hair with my henna and indigo, which is a whole nother video, but um, when I do color my gray hair and stuff, it'll stay longer because it won't be activated with the, by the oils. So 
Keep in mind, if you're somebody who's trying to hide your gray, my oils will not do that. Your hair, your gray is going to pop up faster because your hair is growing. You can't expect your hair to grow and not have your gray pop up just the way it is. So hang in there with that. Hang in there with that. Your grays are going to be popping up constantly. Look, see all that? All those new grays? They were gone about, I'd say, a week ago. And here they are back again because my hair is growing. And, you know, I naturally have gray hair in a lot of areas. So that's the constant cat and mouse game right there. Okay, massage, massage, massage. And then there's other ways to massage your hair, by the way. Um, I have wonderful tools that I want to show you. This right here is the scalp massager. I got this on Amazon. You hold it like this, or actually I think I have it upside down, like this. Massage, massage. No, it's the other way. Yeah, massage, massage. Massage it in everywhere, okay? This takes time, dedication, and patience. Massage, massage, and then, Oh gosh, let me put my cap back on this because I do not want that to spill. This is a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. Okay, so here's the here's an amazing trick, you guys. This is something that I really highly recommend doing. You're going to put your head upside down. Let all the blood rush to your head, which increases blood flow, which is going to increase hair growth. Just the way it is, okay? So you're going to put your head upside down. You ready? Can you see me? Then massage. 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 You're, circuit, you're, you're creating blood flow and bringing a lot of attention to your hair and the scalp, which is going to create a lot of blood flow and circulation, stimulation, which is going to help your hair grow. And um, keep in mind, by massaging, you're also exfoliating your scalp. You're getting off dead skin, dandruff, flakes, which, which will enable your pores to be open so the oil can penetrate better, and you'll get better hair growth. So this is doing a lot of things. And it's also stimulating energy. You're going to feel great. Now, when you come back up, be careful, okay? Because you could pass out or something. <laughs> so, one, two, three, back. Whew, that's a head rush. You're not only going to get a burst of energy right there, you're going to feel great. Just be careful. A lot of other, there's other ways to do this by putting your head upside down. You can go lay on your bed on, with your back on the bed or lay on your stomach. Just as long as you somehow get your head over so all the blood can rush to the head. Look, you can see all those new gray hairs coming in. Look at that. Constantly my hair's growing. So fast. This oil's amazing, I'm telling you. And then these little tips that you can do to enhance it. You don't have to do these extra tips, but they sure help. Okay, so that's one way to stimulate it. And then there's another way. It's this massager. This one vibrates. And as women, you know, we like vibrators. Uh -huh. Hear it? Bzzz. Hear it? So what that's doing is also bringing stimulation to the scalp. Bzzz. Basically feels like a vibrator on your scalp. Okay, hold on. I got to switch hands. My hands are getting... My hands are getting tired there. There we go. And then hold it there a while. Hold it. See the vibration in it. It's bringing more blood flow. And then you can also put your head upside down again. You'll get your own little regimen going. Everybody has their own little remedies, their own tips, their own, their own style. I'm just here to point the way and how I do it. Hold it there a while. Don't forget to get the back. I just seen a picture of my hair, how short it was um, when I took, I took a picture 2000. Sorry about that. My battery's about ready to die, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to end this now. But um, look at the growth. Woo! 
shiny, healthy. My hair is the healthiest it's ever been in my whole life, you guys. My whole life. I am just so happy I did this. I really feel much prettier with long hair. I feel more feminine. I feel I feel prettier. I feel um I feel elegant with it. I love it. And I want all of you who are interested in growing your hair back, I want you to have the same fulfillment that I feel. And um, I had bald spots right here and here. Right here and here. I had major bald spots, and they're all filled in. Look at that. And some. I'm getting hair everywhere. Like here, here. It's growing everywhere. And um, I'm just happy. So I hope my uh, little tutorial here helped you, okay? Because I get so many comments and questions. How do you do it? How do you use it? Does it work? And all I can say is yes, it works. It works, look at me, look at my life. And then I have a lot of other clients it's worked for too. Um, I'm thinking of um, Amy Balkis, she's had great success. Um, oh gosh, there's so many. Also go to my reviews on my Etsy shop. A lot of women there share their personal stories and experiences. And it's thanks to women who take their time to let us know how they're doing. That's how we know how it works for other women. So um, I really appreciate anybody who could share their stories with us. Thank you so much. And um, just look at the growth. It's there. It's there. My hair was really short. I was da It was damaged from hair bleaching and using box colors from the store, leaving it on too long. And I just messed up my hair. Okay, so a lot of it was falling out. And I just had these ugly bald spots. And I'm just glad I didn't go bald. I mean, it was really getting that bad. So um, thank God upon research and uh, YouTube, Pinterest, I found these Ayurvedics. This girl named Curly Proverbs on YouTube taught me a lot. And um, the last thing I wanted to share is if you guys use my um, eyelash growth serum, keep in mind that this can be a dupe for um, mascara remover, makeup remover. I was noticing last night when I was putting it on that you can put it on your eyelashes to take off your mascara. Um, actually, I've been doing that a long time, but I was noticing last night, I was like, you know what, I better let ladies know about this because a lot of my products can be, can substitute for a lot of other things. And like this eyelash serum is a great makeup remover. Hard, if you use a lot of waterproof mascara and hard to get off, this will take it off. The olive oil and everything in here is amazing. It's just a great makeup remover. You can actually put on your whole face if you wanted and then wipe it off good with a cloth. So that's it. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. I'm here to give you success. I want you to be happy. I want your hair to grow because I know as women, we want beautiful hair, don't we? So God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you so much for your love and support. I need to do my nails. Love you. Bye. I'm so sorry. I forgot to share. When you put the oil on, leave it on for a good three to four hours. Okay. Leave it on for three to four hours if you can. If you can leave it longer, please do leave it on longer. What I do is I let it stay in my hair for a good three days. I mean, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky I work from home. I'm able to do this. I just put it up in a big bun and um, I sleep with it. I put a towel over my pillow because the oil will get into your pillowcase. So be careful. And um, Or you could put a plastic bag over your head, um, a shower cap. But the, the, the key, the goal is to leave it in as long as you can. But a lot of, a lot of you working ladies aren't able to do that. You know, you got to take a shower the next day. You can't go to work like this looking like a greasy mess. So a lot of you have to wash it out. But please try and leave it on as long as you can. Three to four hours is great. You want to get those oils and let them penetrate and stay in there as long as they can so that they can do magic. So, um, and what I do is I put it up in a bun. Let me show you. Be right back. Sorry, totally forget the important stuff. Okay, hold on. Okay, see, I just put it up in a bun, a loose bun, not real tight. If your bun is too tight, your hair will pull out from the roots and you'll get a lot of breakage. So, gosh, look at all my grays. See, I can't help it. I can't help it. My hair is growing. As soon as I color it, like if I were to color it today with my henna and indigo, see, I also go natural now. See, see, that's another thing I forgot to share. Um, I go natural. I go henna and indigo. It's all natural herbs and powders and leaves from plants and trees from India. And if I were to color it right now, yes, it'll look good for about two days. And then like the third day, you'll see this gray again because it's growing like a weed. I can't keep up with it. So that's something you're going to have to deal with. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Take you, take age and stride. You know, sometimes I'm like, forget it. My, my gray show, they show because it gets exhausting trying to keep up with it really. And then I also will send instructions on how to use my hair growth oil. There's these right here. Okay. So follow my instructions. 
And um, let me know if anyone wants to try a sample. I can afford to send out three samples of my hair growth oil. It comes like this. I really like this applicator. Look how pointy it is. Watch, you take the top off. Look at how pointy. You cut the top off with scissors, not too far. And I love how it gets right in the root. Look at that. These are cool. I got these on Amazon. I'm all about samples, um, cool sample uh, containers and kits and, and jars and stuff. I, I love cool containers, you know. So I hope I remembered everything. Okay, if not, please let me know. God bless you. Thank you. The key is to leave it on as long as you can and um, take care of yourself. Enjoy your hair. Cherish it. You know, it says in the Bible, our hair is like a woman's crown and glory. And it's true. Hair is beautiful. It feels great. And it's not for everyone. Some women like short hair. So, you know, but a lot of us, as we get older, we start to lose our hair due to hormones and all kinds of weird stuff. And I'm just so glad I was able to grow mine back. And I also take a vitamin called Vivaflex. So keep that in mind too. It's not all about my hair oil. I take this daily. And I have another pack of these left and I got to order some more. Vivaflex. This is um, just a natural vitamin in there. Okay. And I was doing smoothies. I've been slacking off on the smoothies lately. But I'll try and get back into my smoothies. And I put biotin drops in there. Biotin is great for growing your hair. And okay. That's it. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate your love and support. I'm really officially done this time. <laughs> Thank you. This is for Yolanda. Yolanda, you want to order my hair growth oil. So I thought about doing this for you. Yolanda won the BoxyCharm challenge um, giveaway. So congratulations, Yolanda. Keep, stay tuned, guys. I'm always doing giveaways. All right. I love you. Bye-bye. I'm on my way to interview you again.